Did you know? On May 13, 1917, the first of six apparitions occurred that changed the way we pray the rosary and played a key role in the downfall of communism. Ten-year-old Lucia Santos and her cousins Jacinta and Francisco Marto were tending sheep near their home village of Fatima, Portugal. Seven-year-old Jacinta was too young for the job by village standards, but she was so lonely without Lucia nearby that her family gave her a few token sheep and sent her out to pasture as well. There the children saw a beautiful woman that Lucia described as brighter than the sun, and when they asked her her name, she called herself Our Lady of the Rosary. Our Lady continued to appear to the children on the 13th day of each month until October 13, 1917. During her July 13th visit, she gave the children three secrets. The first secret showed the children a terrifying vision of hell. The second predicted World War II and asked for the consecration of Russia, who would otherwise spread her errors throughout the world. The third secret, which remained unreleased until the year 2000, foretold the future persecution of the church and an attack on the Pope. Oddly, while all three children could see Our Lady's revelations, only Lucia and Jacinta could hear them. During this apparition, Our Lady also gave the children what is known today as the Decade Prayer of Fatima, which is now prayed after every decade of the Rosary. During her final apparition on a rainy October 13, 1917, Our Lady provided the miracle of the sun. More than 70,000 people, including journalists and even atheists, witnessed the sun change colors, rotate like a wheel, and dance towards the earth, miraculously drying everything in sight within minutes. As predicted by Our Lady, Francisco and Jacinta both died from the Spanish flu by 1920, but Lucia was blessed with a long life. She first joined the Sisters of St. Dorothy and later entered the Carmelite Order. On May 13, 1981, exactly 64 years to the hour after the first apparition of Fatima, Blessed Pope John Paul II was shot by a would-be assassin in St. Peter's Square. As the gunman pulled the trigger, the Pope saw a young girl with a picture of Our Lady of Fatima. He bent down to bless her, and two bullets aimed for his head missed by inches. A third bullet struck, but according to doctors, it followed an inexplicable zigzag path through his body, barely missing the most vital organs. The Pope attributed his survival to the miraculous aid of Our Lady. He later placed the bullet in the crown of her statue at Fatima, where it resides today, and invited all the bishops of the world to join him in consecrating the world and Russia to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. The consecration was made on March 25, 1984, and within five years, the Communist Soviet Union had already begun to crumble. The children's visions were officially declared worthy of belief after canonical inquiry in October 1930. On May 13, 2000, the 83rd anniversary of the first apparition, Jacinta and Francisco were beatified by Blessed Pope John Paul II with Lucia in attendance. Lucia passed away due to old age in nearby Coimbra, Portugal on February 13, 2005, at the age of 97, and the town of Fatima now hosts nearly one million pilgrims every May 13th alone. And that's how a small Portuguese village became the pilgrimage site we know today.